no retain it open. At the sea, I got a red. I'm a Marvelous for his masses and it forever. Hello, everyone. My name is Shion Akishon on a platform tag, a seed in me. What is that seed in you? How did you discover your seed? How did you grow your seed? How did you nurture your seed? How are you using your seed to impart this word positive? You are allowed to join us on this platform in order to share your experience, your challenges, how you overcome those challenges and also how you discover your seed. You are free to join us on this platform. The number you can call us on to is 0203-774-7220 or 0794-278530. Um, tonight I have a wonderful woman of God here with me. She's here to tell us how she discovered her seed, how she make her seed to grow, how she not show her seed, and also how she's using a seed to impart this word positive. Please stay tuned. You are welcome, ma. Thank you very much. God Thanks bless you, ma. <laughs> you are welcome, ma. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, uh, my name is Possel Kumbi, popularly known as Abby Megaplus. 
um, God bless you as you're watching us. Um, if there's anything that you want to contribute, like my sister, I've just said, um, share your experience. Let me learn from you as well. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Amen. I have a big mega plus on platform with me she's here to tell us how she developed herself in singing she's here to tell us how many seeds did she even have we want to know tonight and i believe that you will learn one or two things from her and you can as well just call us on this number if you have any question to ask her call us on studio number 0203-774-7220 god bless you Michelle, how did you discover your seed? Yes, um, I discovered my seed, I think right from when I was in nursery primary school and we used to have this cultural dance of a thing and I discovered that every time they always put me at the front. Why? Because anytime I hear anything, drum beats or singing or clapping, <laughs> you don't want to do <laughs> I'm there digging it, you know, because I'm always at the front most of the time. So, um, and they could see that I do it with all my energy in me and the passion. So I dance. I dance a lot. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I do that and um, I discovered that when I was doing that and then I joined choir in the church. Mm -hmm. I remember when I joined the choir I was the youngest. I was a Methodist. Like Back how old are you then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 I was a, probably around five or six. I was wow. the youngest. I was wow. really the youngest and they have to tie the rope. Um, then I wasn't using mic, but then I was the one, you know, dancing, dancing. and everyone was like, look at that small girl, look at that small girl. Wow. So they used to tie my rope uh, and then everything. So I'll be at the front. <laughs> and then I grew up, you know, in a choir, in church, and then I started leading. Um, and then when I moved to Lagos, okay. I was in a choir. We have about close to 120 choirs. Wow. What church is that? Um, that's Anointed Christ Power International okay. Church at a solo. Okay. If my pastor, my Jew is watching me, <laughs> hello pastor. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was in the choir and I thank God for them. They gave me the opportunity you know, to be able to lead and also that's the place where I learned to compose song from. Hmm. Yeah, I do sing in school as well. From school, one of the pastors discovered me. Wow. And then I have to jump the queue instead of doing six months training. <laughs> Wow. Because we joined that choir, I tell, I tell you, I said, I said 120 choirs, obviously it's not mm -hmm. something, it's not a day training. So they do about six months training. Before and you can join the choir. Before you can, no, before you can join and graduate. Wow. <laughs> so I've always been wanting to join that choir, but I've never had the time to be at home for six months. So luckily, one of the pastor, Pastor Kongle, came to the school then, and I was leading in the gospel choir of the whole school. I was one of the people that was leading and then he discovered me and said, ah, are you not this is the person? And I'm like, oh yeah, I've wanted to join. Why are you not in the choir? I've wanted to join. There's no opportunity. Wow. And then he went, okay, anytime you come home, make sure you see me. And I saw him when I went to church. And then he was like, because it was the choir director. Okay. And he gave me the That's why it was so quick. It was, I was quick. <laughs> and all, you seriously, all the choir looking like, oh, the hell is this girl? <laughs> so sometimes um, you find favor hmm. before God, and all protocols are broken for oh, your yes. sake. So oh, yes. I, I see that, that as a privilege and such a huge favor hmm. to be able to jump. And, and then when I joined, and they discovered, oh, she's actually talented. I was allowed to lead. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's how you discovered that you can, you yeah. can sing and yes. you can lead yes. in the choir. Oh, glory to God Almighty. Amen. Oh, glory to God Almighty. Amen. Can you please tell our viewers, while you are discovering your um, talent, your gift, what did you experience? And how did you experience it? Well, how did you feel while you are going through one thing or the other when you discover your talent? Yeah, um, having a talent is not just enough. You need to be able to to nurture it. You need to be able to develop it. Okay. You need to be able to work on it if you actually want to get it to the next level. Um, when I joined that choir, like, like I said, there are people that are leading there and they compose songs. And I listen to them every Sunday. They don't, we, in that church, they don't sing songs that someone has sang in a 
you know, that is popular on CD. No, they Ooh. compose the song they for every songs. Sunday. And you have people with different songs, they listen to all the songs, and which one the Holy Spirit pick, that's what they pick. And you can bring a song, you don't necessarily have to sing the song. Wow. So, and we're so united that you don't rebel. Hmm. Do you get where I'm coming from? Hmm. So, um, when I joined, I remember my very good friend, Sister Toyin, she was one of you that was leading then, and look at her, I'm like, wow. How does she sit down to do this, to do yeah. that? So I had to sit down as well. I said, okay, I want to compose a song. Let me just say, we'll start from somewhere. Mm. So I have to sit down, you know, write songs, pray, to read Bible, because I know most of the songs they sing, you can get them from the Bible. That's right. It's all biblical. So I will read Bible, I will pray, and then that's how I do it. It's not like I just want to sing and I'm just there. The, I have to develop myself as well. How can I do it? How can I be allowed to? If you want to lead, you have to do something you have to extra. Yourself. Hmm. If you're just ordinary, obviously you're just going to be in one place. So I, I I do rehearse as well. As well, hmm. I listen to people that have been there. I watch their video, listen to their songs, and I pray. I pray. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> without prayer, nothing, nothing. That's right. Sense. You are very right. Yeah. You are very, very right. Let me speak to our in a minute. Probably you are just joining us. This is a, a seed in me, a seed in me platform. I have my wonderful sister here, Abby Mega Plus. She's here sharing how she discovered her gift. She's here telling us how we can know show and be better in whatever we're doing. She's here to tell us what she has experienced, the challenges she has faced, and how she overcome those challenges. Challenges. Please stay tuned. And if you have any questions, you can call us on 0203-774-7220. And if you have any seed in you that you think you need to share with others, you can as well call the same number or you call 079 Stay tuned and God bless you. Back to you, Ma. <laughs> that is wonderful. Now, I want you to tell me, how did you receive your inspiration? How did you get your songs? How did you compose? I, I know that you said, okay, um, you have to pray, you have to read your Bible. I know that is very, very important yeah. for you to be able to know what to do. Yeah. But how did you receive your inspiration? Um, there are diverse ways. I don't have one particular way. There are times you read the Bible, maybe something happened in the Bible or something happened somewhere. And then you say, oh, this thing has happened, something similar has happened. Even more than that has happened in the Bible, and God was able to turn things this way. So, um, through the Word of God, um, if you listen to one of the songs that I did the last time that talked about signs and wonder, okay. it's about Isaiah chapter 8. It says, um, for you and the children that I've given it you, you have got signs and for wonders. So, I use the Bible, and sometimes I receive songs. Um, I'm not angel that will say, all oh, my songs, I receive it through the day. No. <laughs> um, but there are times I receive songs. Um, there was one that I received that I'm still working on um, because when I sent it to the producer, when they came back with the beat, I'm like, mm, no, that's not what I, what I heard. Um, so, and there are times is birth out of experience. Hmm. The last thing that I released in June as well, called titled Destiny, was birth out of experience. Wow. Something happened and I sat down and I said, no, I will fulfill destiny. Hmm. No matter what happened, it doesn't matter even when the technology, the government, everything fail. Things are failing, fine. But word of God will not fail That's in my right. life. I will fulfill destiny. My children, wherever we found ourselves. Hmm. So, when I wrote that song, I, and I thank God, people received it because they. I think sometimes people could connect with, with what, what, what you're saying. Yeah. Hmm. So, some people will say, "Oh, because my family did this, my family." That's not the end of the world. It's going to get better. At the end of every tunnel, there will be light. Mm -hmm. And Jesus did not tell us that we will not go through trials and temptation. We will go through, oh, yes. but he says be of good shape because we've overcome. Oh, yes. So, um, so I receive it in diverse ways. Things that happen through the word of God and also maybe through dream, maybe when I wake up and I sang a song, I'll go to get my, get my phone and record it. Wow. So Wonderful. That was wonderful. <laughs> May God continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, what, um, how many albums have you done and then what are the um, things that happen that make you to get the title? You know, mm. sometimes, as you, as, you, as you rightly said about the destiny, yeah. you said you are going through some things and you believe that you must fulfill your destiny. Mm. From that, your title mm -hmm. has come. Yeah. So how did you ha uh, receive your topic to tag with your song and how did you do it? Yeah, um, like the first album that I released, 
um, in 2013, is, um, that one was titled um, New Praise. New Praise, okay. So, I don't want to say new song. I call it New <laughs> Praise, which means I'm on another phase of my life now. Hmm. I'm able to sing a new song. Hmm. We're no longer in Where the we used to be. Hmm. So, we thank God we've been through that trials, tribulation, temptation. But now, the Lord has taken us to the other side. Hmm. And now I can sing a new song to the Lord. So that's why in that song it's got a lot of praises songs to say. After all I've been through, you know, I still have joy. I still have to say thank you to God. So that one comes about that. And then the second one that was released in 2015, titled Dependable Father. Obviously that should tell you a lot. Wow. <laughs> so like I said, it, it, it's better out of most of the time experience. Hmm. Or it, it not necessarily have to be something that happened to me. It might be something that happened to somebody else. Hmm. Um, because I do a lot of charity in the background. I'm not like taking no. that. I don't do all that. I do my one in back, um, background. Hmm. So when I see things that happen to people sometimes, um, that maybe I'm fortunate to be part of it, to be part of their story in a little way, um, I look at it and I'm like, if it can happen for this person, hmm. obviously. Hmm. There's someone out there, it can happen hmm. to you. Um, it doesn't matter where you are now, it doesn't matter. To your today or your present um, situation is not, not, your final oh, yes. not your final destination. Mm -hmm. so. it, but some people, when they go through trials and tribulations and temptation or facing through failure mm -hmm. or something, they just believe that's the end of it. And you see people confessing negative. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't think I can. No, mm -hmm. I, I'm not that kind of person. If mm -hmm. you listen to any of my song, you will never hear. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am crying. I, I don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. I just believe that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our yes. testimony. Mm -hmm. I will declare it. This is what I'm not declaring. What I have now, I'm mm -hmm. declaring where I'm going to mm -hmm. see myself. Yes, where I, I am. What God has shown me. Mm -hmm. So that that's the way I operate. So that's, if you listen to my song, so yeah, it's more prophecy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even by what we're mm -hmm. saying, definitely that is what will happen to us. Amen. Whatever you says out of you yes. is what that we manifest into your life. So yes. it's good to say something positive to your life, even yes. to the life of people around you. Yes. I agree with that. God bless you, more, <laughs> okay. more anointing in the mighty name Sorry. of Jesus. Now that you tell me how you receive your song and then how you um how many how one you have done. I want you to tell me um, the first album you did yeah. because I know for you to do the first one, yeah. uh, there will always be a story behind it. Mm. Can you please share with our viewers? <laughs> yeah, um, you know when you're in UK especially, <laughs> it's not as easy as Nigeria to do um, a lot of things, releasing albums and all this, but I was just positive that it's going to happen. Hmm. And surprisingly, we invited someone to our church, okay. and the guy saw me leading praise and worship. So when we finished, he came to me. The guy came from Nigeria. He came to me. He was like, "Oh, do you have any album?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> oh, have you thought of one? Yeah, I've thought of one, but I just don't even know where to start. Hmm. And then he went, "Okay, I will be going back to Nigeria in two weeks' time, but can we meet up?" I'm like, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not ready yet." And then he went, okay, you know what, just do the demo, let me hear your voice, because voice in life sometimes is different from the studio, so let me hear your voice, let's see where we Okay, I said, okay. So I went to meet him, I said, God, just... So when I went there, and then he heard me, he was like, oh, I don't think you should do them. I think you should just go straight away and do wow. CD. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just laughed. I said, CD, no, let's just do even one. And he said, how many songs have you got? I said, to write songs to the glory of God is not for bragging. Um, it's the easiest thing for me. Wow. Uh, once I pick my destiny, and the uh, Bible says, when so far we are led, we are called children of God, we are led by the Spirit of God. So once I pray and I hold my pen, I. Uh, it will just come in. So. Yeah. And then he said, okay, this song we practice. So he went, okay, let's meet at the studio. So, so then I said, okay. So we went to the studio. He said, that one that you sang, I said, ah. The unfortunate thing is, that song, I composed it right there and then I can't repeat it again. You need to just record whatever I sing. And then, it was wow. so funny. The was like, oh, something. I said, I know, I know the topic because it's written down, but I can't do it exactly the way I did Where it. Like, wow. So what I did was to quickly set the recording. I said, whatever I say, just record. Don't worry. Hmm. And then give me this beat, give me that beat. 
yeah. that key. So, so and then they did it because I know a little bit about key. <laughs> you know, if you don't have the right key yes, and you are trying to open it, the door. You will be <laughs> open <the> key. <laughs> so, um, then we recorded it, and to the glory of God, um, it sounded nice. Hmm. And the people at the studio, even the day where they were doing the mixing, and I went back and said, I want to change something. I'm not even, as I'm sure. Um, the studio that I recorded is the Marvelous Studio. She won't okay. I'm sure you will be listening to this at some point. And um, I have I had these neighbors coming in just to come and see who, who was singing. singing. And wow. then when they came in, I couldn't oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh, so wow. that was how it started. It wasn't something that I planned to say, Well, oh, I have this money now, we need to go and spend it. No. It, it was hmm. like I said, it's just people. Hmm. It's just people. It's just that I was one thing I want to say to people is this. Sometimes huh. you do a lot of things in background. You don't have to be at the forefront. Maybe That's you right. are helping your ministry, your church. Don't think you're doing your pastor a favor. You are doing your future, your future children, your seed, you're doing them a favor. You just be faithful in the little they've committed into your hands. Trust me, the day the results will come, it will surprise you. I mm. never thought in my life that I would eat mm. from music. Mm. And to the glory of God, mm. I said to people, I said, when I go to churches, I don't charge. Mm. Why? Because I see it as a privilege. Mm. I just want to praise God. I'm not doing it because I have to do it. No, I'm doing it. How do I say? I'm not doing it out of necessity. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing it because I just want to worship this God. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the Old Testament, which is what created that, mm -hmm. um, the fear of God in me to say, so you can be somewhere mm -hmm. and you, somebody will just want to help the hack mm -hmm. of God. And it's trying to down straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> and I was like, who asked you to help this hack? Mm -hmm. it's only, it means it's for good, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. God didn't ask him to. If you look at mm -hmm. um, um, Herod, King mm -hmm. Herod, the mm -hmm. Bible says, God says, I hardened the heart, the heart of Pharaoh. <laughs> it was God that hardened his heart. That's right. And he said, for my own glory. glory. <laughs> so, and then I look at the New Testament again. When the apostles were praying, Peter's and the others, they were speaking in an unknown language. <laughs> and people that understand language, they were there. <laughs> That's why when, when some people do a lot of things and they have unforgiveness and all these things, and they're standing <laughs> on the pulpit, I'm thinking, what mm -hmm. if you raise your hand and you are speaking in your own language mm -hmm. and you are confessing everything that you've done in the secret and you are mm -hmm. saying it. So then, mm -hmm. that's why when I'm going on stage, I always say, God, God, please, just, Take uh, I know my righteous name might not be enough, just, mm -hmm. because that fear of God needs to be there mm -hmm. and then it will help you. Mm -hmm. So God has looked at the little that I've been faithful with, the little I've done, mm -hmm. because I used to train youth in okay. my church. I love it. I That's was my mother said. Wow, <laughs> wonderful. When I got to UK as well, I was training youth hmm. in in the instrument. I bring in my friends to train them to do this, to do that, hmm. and and I never knew God was preparing me for a for time like this. Hmm. So from church, um, like I said, I've been singing for a very long time. But professionally, I started 2007. 2007. Because that was when someone discovered me and said, "We need you in so so church." Hmm. When I went there, oh, is she from Nigeria? No, you live in London. No. <laughs> and then from there, um, I don't go to TV or anything to do advert to say, oh, please call me. But God has just been faithful Hallelujah. and help. And I've seen several TV stations, radio stations, both Nigerians, Ghanaians, that they will say, we just want to play your song, we just want to interview you. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. So God used at that little one. Hmm. To compensate so, you. So that's why now, if I see any opportunity hmm. to say, come and lead people in worship, it's because I know when I do it, this Baba God uh, is faithful oh, and yes. He takes care of me. Even though I don't charge, I've been so lucky. People say, they, even though they charge, they've been so unlucky that they give them jollof rice and all this. When they did. <laughs> <laughs> if they were giving jollof rice, obviously, I know there's a big evidence you know, to the glory of God. So God hmm. has been faithful. He's hmm. not. Don't do it. If you want to do anything, anything, anything mm. whatsoever, it, it depends on the motive behind That's it. That's right. What's your motive? Why are you doing it? Mm. So I did it out of God singling me out by himself. 
Yeah. And since I've been doing it, I've never looked back, and I've never regretted it. Even when I when I work, because I work full time. <laughs> Even when I work, and there is program coming up, God just make you sure make it works. Way for you. Hmm. Hmm. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just God. You know, God will not send you an error without giving you that chance mm. to do what. As long as, as you rightly said, that it depends on your motive. Yeah. You know that your motive is to win. So through what you are doing to his kingdom. So he will always give you that chance, that opportunity. Regardless of wherever you are or whatever you are being occupied doing, he will always sort things out to according to his own glory because it is only his glory you want to exalt and you want to preach to the people in order to increase the kingdom. More anointing, more blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That was really wonderful and I bless God for your life. May God continue to empower you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want you to sing for us before we proceed <laughs> forward. I know you have done so many albums as you said. We're going to listen to your new release album which you just come out, um, was it last month? Just last week. Last week, aha. Mm -hmm. But before that I want you to sing for us. Okay. Yes. Uh, before we listen to that there was because I've, I've released two albums like I said okay. New Praise and Dependable and I've released three singles now okay um, one was titled Signs and Wonders it's on YouTube and I'm sure the address will be <laughs> below um, if you go on YouTube you'll see you listen to that but there is one I want to really sing okay. which was the one that came out before this one it's called Destiny yes. it talks about the fact that if everything around you is failing, you. Uh -huh. if you believe, you will fulfill destiny. Oh, yes. um, I shall fulfill destiny. I shall be great in the land. I shall fulfill destiny. And I shall be great in the land. You shall fulfill destiny. Amen. And you shall be great in the land. Amen. You shall fulfill destiny, and you shall be great in the land. Government may fail, technology may fail, economy may fail you, but my Jesus never fail. Jesus Christ is alive, and he has found to change situation. The season is changing, and you shall be great in the land. Say, I shall fulfill destiny. I shall be great in the land. Your children shall fulfill destiny, and you shall be great in the land. Family may fail. Your friends may fail you. But if you know your God, oh my Jesus, I won't sing everything. Hallelujah. If you go on YouTube, you can listen to the song. It's titled Destiny. Your God YouTube bless you. channel, please. Um, if you go on YouTube, it's Abby Mega Plus. Okay. If you go on Instagram, Abby Mega Plus. If you go on Facebook, all social media platform is Abby Mega Plus. Abby Mega Plus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank that you. was really, really <laughs> wonderful voice. Thank mm. you. God bless you. More anointing the mighty name of Jesus. Um, as we can listen to our dear sister Abby Mega. She said we can fulfill destiny. It means that regardless of our situation, regardless of the challenges we are passing through, regardless of whatever we are facing at this time, trust me, we shall overcome. We Amen. shall fulfill the destiny. Amen. But she said something earlier on which I held on to. She said we, sh we need to be positive. We need to prophesy the good thing in our life. We don't need to say otherwise because of what we are going through. Because whatever we say, everyone will sanction. So we need to be mindful of whatever that comes out of our mouths. Even the Bible makes us to realize that the death and life is lies in her tongue. So we need to be very careful what we say to our life. We shall all fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Probably you are just joining us. I am on a platform tag, a seed in me with my wonderful sister evangelist abby mega plus she's here sharing her experience how she discovered her seed if you have any seed in you that you think that you need to share you can join us on this platform or the number you can call us on to is zero two zero three double seven four seven double two zero or zero seven nine double four two seven eight five three zero god bless you and stay tuned back to you ma that was really wonderful Thank more anointing ma mm -hmm. now i want you to tell me how did you um come about the new 
album that that you just released because as you said about the destiny you believe that okay even if government failed if the situation around you feel your destiny will never fail mm. because you will fulfill it so from there you are able to bring something out so it means out of nothing something will always come mm. out so i want you to tell us how did you how did you go about the new one my sister i'm a carrier of good news hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> my music give hope to the hopeless hallelujah my oh. music wins souls to christ oh. my music restore people's faith oh. The first one says signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. I'm declaring it for signs and wonders. The second one says you will fulfill this destiny. destiny. Because some people will still be thinking, am I really for signs and wonders? Mm -hmm. this? So I'm telling you, you will fulfill destiny. Mm -hmm. And now the last one says, um, this new one, it won't be the last one. <laughs> this new one says, Amen. wonder to behold hmm. and a story to be told. Hmm. I have a strength like an ocean. No one can stop your flow, my flow. No. Hallelujah. Because I have Jesus. Hmm. And he says, I am a child of God. Hmm. I am a child so, of God. What happened is, all these stories, all these things that's happening hmm. in our lives, at some point will become a story. Yes. At least everything I've been saying since, hmm. our stories are things of the past. Hmm. So which means whatever you are going through, whatever you are hmm. passing through, whatever you are going to go through, hmm. at some point will become a story. Hmm. And you will become a story to be told because yeah, by the yeah. time you overcome, you will tell oh, your story. Yes. Oh, yes. And then you say to yourself, look, I am a wonder to be told. <laughs> I'm wow. a story to be told wow, because wonderful. I have Jesus. Oh, yes. Hmm. And once you have Jesus, you have everything. Whoever that has Jesus have everything because it's the way, the truth, and the life. And He gives it, He gives it all in abundance. Yes. All we need to do is to move close to Him, yes. to meditate in His Word, yes. and to be faithful with Him, and also to be hoping that tomorrow shall be good. Mm -hmm. It shall be well with your man. That is wonderful. Can we please listen to the new album? <laughs> Because I have
wow 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 that was really really wonderful wow i'm blessed and i'm sure you have blessed listening to this wonderful new release from our sister happy mega plus please try to turn it into her uh, facebook page instagram page and also on youtube to listen and watch this um, song and you can as well share it with your friends and family in order to bless their life as you are doing this god will bless you in the mighty name of jesus mm -hmm. he said i have me wonders and then whoever that have jesus he has all things i believe you have jesus in your life and i pray god almighty will not depart in our life in the mighty name of jesus Amen. you are welcome back man you, god bless you, you man you. now that you have sung for us you have um, we've listened to your new album i want you to advise people how they that have that seed in them but they are unable to discover it. You are very lucky. From age five, you're already in the choir. <laughs> Even at a point, you have to jump queue. Oh my God. <laughs> so you are really blessed. You understand? Okay. From that little age, you are able to pick one thing or the other. You are able to learn from people. You are able to compose your own song. It's, it is a very, very great privilege in your life. So I want you to advise people watching us because probably many could have the gift of, of God in them, but they're unable to discover it. Or they know that, okay, they knew that truly they have that seed. They don't know how to grow it. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to nurture it. And what you are not uh, nurturing or make it grow, definitely yeah. it will die. So I want you to advise our viewers in order to encourage them on how to search deeply to locate their gift. Um, thank you, my sister. You are welcome, man. Uh, like I said, I was thinking and thinking, but to start composing was after a very long time. After I grew up and you know finished secondary school. Okay. It doesn't just start in a day. Mm -hmm. If you have any gift in you, your gift doesn't necessarily have to be singing. Mm -hmm. It might just be cleaning the house of God. It might be blessing people with the word of God. It might be, you know, blessing life with the things that you have. It mm. might be encouraging people with the word. Mm. Um, it might it, it comes in different ways. Mm. But whatever it is that you find your hands doing, like the Bible says, yes, do it well. well. Mm. And sometimes we need to do it while it is day. <laughs> the night might come. When is the night comes? It's not until we're older or whatever. Jesus can come anytime. And when they say Jesus is coming anytime, not until it necessarily appear. appear. Once someone is dead today, that's it. Your own Jesus has come because there's no repentance in the grave. So whatever you go in your hand, if you take your gift like that to the grave, obviously you have not done well at all. Yes. But whatever you have, it's not enough to just have a gift. You might have a gift, but if you rush ahead of time as well, hmm. you might expire even before <laughs> you inspire other people. Wow. So hmm. you need to be prayerful. You need to pray. You need to have that conviction that yes, it is high time. Hmm. Like I said, I did not just start. I want to just start. It hmm. might not come. God might not speak to you the way he spoke to me. Mm -hmm. My one, I was lucky. I was invited here and there. And it just opened up. Hmm. And things just happen to the hmm. glory of God. I don't think there's any weekend I see that at all. To the wow. glory of God. <laughs> and, and as I was doing it for maybe wedding or birthday, Christian, pure Christian wedding and birthday, and on Sunday I'm there for church and all these things. Okay. But it's because it is time. Hmm. If I have jumped at that point to say, oh, because they're doing it, I have to you start. To I might do it and struggle hmm. and struggle. And sometimes, all of us want to be known all over the world. Like I said, people say, oh, fame, fame, fame. Oh. It's good, but it comes with a lot of challenges. Oh, yes. So for me, what I want from God is to say, God, whatever place you want me to use this gift, make it happen. Oh. Sometimes you might not be a household name. Oh. Maybe God just wants to use you for some particular set of people. And he knows that if you bring your heart to the limelight, you might not be able to reach those people. That's right. If you go to the wrong place, you will. You, people might see that you, yeah, you are known, you, but, but you might not be fulfilling. You need to meet to fulfill your destiny. Feeling <laughs> what God wants you to do. So it's hmm. always good for someone to pray to say, God, please yes. order my steps. And if you are doing hmm. it, and it seems like no one is saying it, it seems like it's not working. Anyone you say out there, it doesn't happen. 
just, just like, like that. that. If it happens mm. just like that, it will go off just like that. <laughs> just me. So you need to take time. You need to be at a place of prayer that's number one. Mm. Um, the word itself is cruel. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that we can use just our weapon mind. is to pray and to praise. Mm. So if you can pray, trust me, or no matter how hard it is, mm. God answers prayer and that's why people pray. Mm. So if you can pray, and secondly, whatever your gift is, look up to people that have been doing it before. Thank mm. God it's YouTube now. Thank mm. God it's... So go there. What are they doing mm. good that you can improve on and do it better? Mm. Don't try to copy. If you listen to my song, I don't sound like anybody. Mm -hmm. You know why? I maintain my name. Mm. When we go to, when I go to office, <laughs> to the glory of God, I work with the white people, white people. And when they're there, I never say, I, I, I. I've been in this country for long that I could twist my tongue, but I chose not to. Hmm. Because if I, if I, I've tried it in the past, when I do it, you won't even hear me. Because <laughs> you overdo it. <laughs> because my tongue is very wow. fast. So if I'm very fast, hmm. and I'm doing ha, 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 again, <laughs> no, they won't understand what I'm saying. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. So wow. far they understand me and they understand them. That's what matters. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is that be yourself. Hmm. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Even if everyone is doing its fast route shortcut, hmm. no, just stand your way. God will look at you one day. Hmm. Sometimes he tests us. He wants to see. That's right. Before you can commit big things, you he will give you small one first and see. Hmm. You are in your church. Someone has upset you. You've moved from there to another church. They will upset you where you're going. To get That's right. Because that was the gift of a man will make room for him and oh, make him yes. stand and before around. the kings and the princes. Not just me, men, oh. great men. So if if someone has been used, the devil can use anyone. Mm -hmm. Anybody can say anything. That's true. You have to have what we call the sunny spirit. Mm -hmm. So if That's you move right. from there, mm -hmm. you have left your place of assignment. You've moved to another one, mm -hmm. and now you are there again. They're gonna upset you again. Are you gonna move again? <laughs> it's just like going to the hospital. Church is like hospital as well. Mm -hmm. There are so many people in there that needs to, you know, that needs to. Mm -hmm. So, um, wherever you are. Be faithful. Just be faithful. Don't do it as unto any man. Do it as unto the Lord. Hmm. And you will see how God will reward you. He will reward you. He will reward your generation. Yeah. Hmm. If you can stay there, be prayerful, be faithful, be loyal. Because you are helping someone else's ministry as well. You are helping someone's life. You are making... If you are in the community, for example, you are doing charity, you are helping the government the ministry <laughs> because God has put the government there so you are helping someone's ministry so there's no way you will water someone and you will not be watered so if you give as well you will be given unto you it's all you know it goes what goes right, around right, comes sir. back around so be, be faithful in what you're doing and let things happen at God's own time Hmm. Don't ever be in a hurry. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Someone have this, someone have that, don't have oh they we're doing the same work, we're doing the same job, they build this, they Yeah, that is their time. Hmm. Rejoice with them. Your time will come. Amen. Welcome. Amen. Thank you welcome. so much for that <laughs> wonderful advice. Happy Mega is here telling us that we need to be contented with whatever we have and we need to maintain our lane. Um, she also said we can look up upon other people in order to make our life better, to learn from them, not to copy because there is two different things about that. If you are watching people to learn, it means that you want to grow yourself, you want to do better, you want to develop yourself. It's not that you want to copy exactly what they are doing, but if you maintain what you have and you are developing yourself on the ground, oh, trust Trust me, she said you will be great in life and people will come to you. Not you that will be going to people for them to see you, but the glory of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God will locate you and bring you out for people mm -hmm. to see you and you will be famous in life. I pray God will give us the spirit and the patience to be able to wait until his um covenant upon her life and it will come to manifest at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Probably you are just joining us. I have my wonderful sister Abby Mega Plus on platform. She's here discussing on how she discovered her seed. Please stay tuned. Back to you Ma. Now that you advise us, I really enjoy your advice. In Very fact, nice. that was really <laughs> wonderful. It's good to learn from one another. I learned a lot of things from you tonight. More wisdom and anointing in Jesus' name. Mm. Now I want you to tell me 
Um, how many people do you think on this platform you want to appreciate before we leave? I know one or two people <laughs> must have helped you up to this moment. Yes. And I believe many will still come to help <laughs> you in the future. So I want you to appreciate one or two people before we round up now. Mm. Before anything, I want to appreciate God Almighty. Hallelujah. I want to thank Him, the giver of all gifts, Hallelujah. free of charge. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and then after God, I want to thank my husband. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's always behind the the screen, but, <laughs> but I want to thank him for allowing me, you know, mm. to do the work of God with his. He makes when you when you are working with a partner mm. that understands the gift and the grace that you carry and mm. allow you to fulfill mm. your destiny to function well. Mm. Obviously, we should appreciate that. Person. That's right. So my husband, you know that. Mm. <laughs> my one and only. So I want to thank you to my husband. You know. For his understanding, uh, mm. for his cooperation, for his help, um, for making the job so easy for mm. me. Yeah, I want to say thank you. Mm. Um, many more years to get. Amen. 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 And I want to thank my children. Wow. Because see, we were here at the studio together, you know. Yeah. Ah, okay. then let's go. And when they know it's let's go, they, they <laughs> we're ready to go. So mm. I want to thank my, my team. <laughs> team Ogubi. Yeah, I want to bless God for their life. Um, and I pray that their own children as well will support them in everything they do. And, and, Amen. Like this, yeah. Amen. and also, I want to thank all my fans all over the world. Thank you so, so much. Um, if it is one thing to sing, yeah. it's another thing to have the voice. Yeah. And the most important thing is for the song to be received. And the people listen. So <laughs> <laughs> I want to bless God. You know, before we came on here the other time, I was showing you how many people are shot. You know, it, it got to a point that, you know when you release a song and you are meant to be coming in to post more. Uh, I keep going back. When I look at it, I go back, I'm like, wow. I call my husband and say, Oh my gosh, we got over 700 people sharing this. Wow. Where are these people all these years that have been singing? So <laughs> go and check them. I will go, the right follow them. Who is this person? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know who they are. I don't know. Uh, it might be from Zambia, from Kenya. Oh. Maybe because it's an English song and they were able to relate with it. Or someone said, mm -hmm. I don't even know. And then okay. I checked myself. And then we look at the view and I'm like, wow. So um, I want to thank all my fans. Really? Some, some of them don't even know me. And they just share your song. Hmm. It means they appreciate the little you're doing hmm. and they just want to be a blessing. So I pray for all of you Amen. that are listening to my song in one way or the other, sharing it, hmm. you know, encouraging me because it's a huge encouragement. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I pray you will not walk alone. Amen. You will not be stranded Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. At the edge of breakthrough, you will not take the wrong step Amen. in Jesus' name. I just want to thank you all. Thank you all so much. All over the world. Amen. <laughs> and for you as well, bringing me here, obviously. You're a blessing, so thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. It is well. <laughs> All glory to God Almighty for His grace. Our sister Happy Mega Plus, she is here appreciating all our fans, our children, and also her wonderful husband for the yes. great support he has given unto her. She said, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being there at all times. <laughs> she really appreciates everyone. Thank and even those that God will use in future. Sure. she said thank, thank you. you and all the fans on this page as well we are saying thank you for watching and listening to us may the lord continue to be with you mm -hmm. in the mighty name of jesus mm -hmm. now as we are rounding up i want you to pray for our viewers before we go yeah um before we pray i want to please 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 beg you if you are watching this um interview and you have been blessed in one way or the other please help us share it mm -hmm. encourage someone Someone might be blessed through this. Oh, yes. Someone might be saved through this. Oh, so yes. please, please let us share it. Oh, yes. And on this platform, it's about don't touch the dark. <laughs> Watch it again and again. Oh, it yes. is encouraging, <laughs> you know. Um, and I promise to be joining you as well to be watching oh, this. Oh, thank so you. So please, please let us share it. God bless you. Yeah, um, let, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you. We give, we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. The Bible says in every situation we should give you thanks. Oh, yes. Even through, through this coronavirus oh. pandemic, we still give you thanks. Alleluia. For as many that have lost their loved ones, in one way or the other, oh. we still say, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I pray for as many that have lost their loved ones, you please, Holy Spirit, 
console them Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and give them the strength to move on in the name Amen. of Jesus. And I pray for as many that are listening at this point that, that have one seed or the other and they are looking for a way, you know, to use their gift or talent or their seed or anything you've deposited in them. I pray you receive the grace to be able to fulfill destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that seed in you will not die Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus as you begin to try your effort Amen. to make it work. The Lord God Almighty will favor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will send you helpers of destiny in Amen. the name of Jesus. And I pray for us as well in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not fall by the roadside in the name of Jesus. We will not be a signboard that leads people to heaven but never get Amen. there. On that Jesus day when the trumpet Amen. shall sound, the Lord will count us worthy in Amen. the name of Jesus. The name and I pray Jesus. for all of us, everything and anything we lay our hands upon. Oh. That is for the glory of God Amen. will flourish in Amen. the name of Jesus. Will be Jesus. like a tree planted by the riverside, Amen. bringing forth its fruit Amen. in due season. In the name of Jesus, Amen. our children, children, our generations to come. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we will live long to eat the fruit of our labors Amen. and for them to fulfill destiny Amen. in any land and every place the they set Jesus. their feet upon. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you, Heavenly Father, thank for you, this. Lord. TV station, we oh, bless Jesus. you, God, Thank and I pray Jesus. for this TV station that you begin to move from strength to strength Amen. in Jesus the name, name of Jesus. Amen. This TV station will not pack up in Amen. the name of Jesus, Amen. but it will give birth to many Amen. other programs, to Amen. many other stations in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for you that you're viewing us from home, Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever is this, there is a request in the tablet of your heart Amen. that God Amen. Almighty, in His infinite mercy, Amen. will have mercy and answer your question. In Amen. the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Above all, Father, oh. give us long life, good Amen. health, Amen. to be able to serve you as we will Amen. want. In the mighty and name count us worthy on that day when the Amen. trumpet shall sound. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank more you. anointing, more Amen. blessing. And thank you for coming as well. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. And um, thank you all our viewers. As she rightly said, please help to share on your platform in order to bless it. So the Bible says there is a joy in in heaven when it's not on repentance by you sharing you might be saving a life you might be blessing somebody's life please share on your platform in order to encourage other people and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus if you are willing to join us on the platform to share how you discover your seed you are welcome and uh, whatever seed it could be singing it could be drumming it could be um you might be a great motivational speaker you might be uh, somebody that influences people to do good you might be um any gift that all, you are free to join us on this platform. The number you can call us on to is 0203 or 0794-278530 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Till next week that we meet again, I remain loyal to you. Shio Akishon is me. Bless you. <laughs> Wow! Here is a good information for everybody. Have the retest of fruit in different form at your parties, event, church program, or social engagement like wedding, birthday, conference in your house, and lots more. Fruit cocktails, fruit arrangement, fruit palm tree, smoothie, fruit basket decoration, fruit kebab, and lots more at Sweet Art Fruit Company. Benny, ni gbogbo bi ti aba tin se ariya igbeyawo ojo ibi ajodun ile ijosin ni bi afe tabi bi igbadun ati be be lo e kan si sweet art fruit ni eyi ke yo nti e ba fe ki won fi fruit dalara fun yin bi fruit cocktail fruit arrangement fruit palm tree smoothie fruit basket decoration ati be be lo ni bi ki bi ti e ba wa e le kan si wa lori ero e ba ni soro yi 0794427830 or follow us on facebook twitter instagram and on social media platform at Sweet Art Fruit. Oluwashun Akisho is the CEO of Sweet Art Fruit. Patronize us at Sweet Art Fruit today. You will be glad you business with us. <laughs>